See the description for trigger warnings. You can do this. 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 You're brave. You can do this. Oh God, you're heavy. Why are you so heavy? In the car, in the car, in the car. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You did it. Step one. It's done. It's done. Just keep going. Keep going. It'll all be over by morning. Hi, baby. You love me, right? You're my ride or die? You would help me bury a body? I didn't, I wasn't, I know, I promised. Your sister got back together with Damien. I know, I know. It's not a fucking problem anymore. I just wanted to scare him. He's been hurting your sister. I wasn't gonna let him get away with that. It was supposed to be a shovel talk. I didn't think I would actually need the shovel. I can't call 911. I can't. I'm not going to prison because Damien finally picked a fight with the wrong person. I lured him here so I could threaten him. I brought a weapon and he ended up dead. Yeah, he hit me first, so maybe the first stab was self-defense. But they're going to have questions about the other 70 stab wounds and why I carved out his eyes. I don't know. Heat of the moment? I don't have a good excuse. It was fucked up. But you get it, right? At least a little? Because you know me. And you know him. You know he was a horrible person who didn't even try to be better. And the world is better without him. But no one else would understand. Besides, I already put his body in my trunk. I don't think I can explain that. I'm not calling 911. Are you calling 911? Are you gonna help me? God, I love you. Can you meet me by the Mount Jubilee trailhead? The park's closed after dark, and nobody really goes off trail, and I don't think people are allowed to hunt there, so... Okay, yeah. Can you bring a shovel? The only one I have is a spade. I don't use it for gardening, but I use it for shoveling snow, and it's kind of small, and I... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. We can talk about it in the forest. I love you. Hey, should I pop the trunk? No. I didn't leave anything behind. The eyes are in his pockets. Sorry. I figured we should take him a little farther in, out of sight of the trail. With the two of us, do you think we can carry him? Is it okay if I take the feed? His corpse is really freaking me out. I know it's stupid because I wasn't scared of it when I was making it, and logically he's actually much less dangerous now than when he was alive. But I'm battling like 
300,000 years of evolution over here. It's the same reason I need you to kill spiders for me. This is a good spot, I think. Let's put him down and start digging. It's probably a good thing I'm so squeamish. If I wasn't, high school would have been a real bloodbath. I was so insecure back then. Please don't look at me like that. I'm better now. I'm more mature. You know that. One second. What? I had to roll him over. He was watching us. I could feel his eyes on us while we were digging. I know his eyes are in his pockets, but that makes it worse. Those black gaping holes just staring. I know you're mad at me right now, and I understand why. I put myself in the middle of a risky situation. I didn't tell you about it until it went wrong. And now you have to clean up my mess. Also the eye thing. I know that makes you uncomfortable. If I'm being honest, I expected this might happen. When he agreed to meet me in an isolated spot, when I put that box cutter in my pocket, I wasn't planning to kill him, but it was an option. And I know we've talked about that before. I know you don't want me hurting people, but you're still here right now, so you can't hate me too much. You probably wouldn't be here if that body up there was someone else. But neither would I. I really worry about your opinion of me. I don't want you to look at me and see a murderer. I don't want you to be scared of me like you used to be. Do you think it's deep enough? Okay, let's, um, let's roll him in then. That's the hard part done, right? We just need to fill in the dirt and pack some leaves over it. Easy. What? Oh. The bruises. Damien got a few hits in before I pulled out the box cutter. It's fine. I'll just cover them up with makeup. Same as your sister did. I'm more worried about the cuts on my hand. I slipped a few times while I was in the thick of things. It's hard to keep your grip with all the blood. Thank you for coming out tonight, for taking care of me and protecting me. I always knew I would break the law to keep you safe, but I was never really sure if you would do the same thing for me. This was your chance to get rid of me if you really wanted to. And instead, you're here. And I know this isn't romantic, and I know you're upset but I've never felt more loved by you.
Today's script is brought to you by How I React to Dead Mice. <laughs> 